Wow, wow, wow. This is a interesting one that I've never even thought about. Now, I've mentioned in my previous videos where you can look for city jobs and state jobs and federal jobs, but someone proposed the idea of what if it's the military and do they teach cybersecurity? And I started looking it up and I was like, holy cow, these guys are like top notch. Of course, you need your security clearance, which I've done myself when I was working for the city and, you know, I had to get my fingerprints and fill out all these forms. And did I ever go bankrupt and give them all my tax documents and had to list out all my bank statements and how much money I had and all the other nonsense. Uh, anyway, uh, why, why did they need all that stuff? Well, because corruption, right? It, that nothing to do with cybersecurity, but corruption. They wanted to see if you're in debt or you owe people money, like how much debt do you owe? And would you start stealing, which is a big thing in the private, well, not private sector in the government sector. Well, it actually goes for any sector, to be honest. Uh, if you haven't learned already and if you're too young to remember a lot of these um uh, enron and you know cooking the books and all the other good stuff well anyway that had nothing to do with this but anyway uh security clearance is huge huge uh, a lot of process takes a lot of time i'm going to tell you a quick story about that i did my background check right took my fingerprints did all that other stuff it took them and and i got into the position it took them four years later to come back and say, hey, we just reviewed your uh, background check. You're good to go. I'm like, what? I, I thought you would have checked that prior to me starting and could have possibly stolen uh, you know, gigs of data and left the organization. No, they, <laughs> they finally got around to me four years later. And honestly, this is, this is how it plays out, right? If they would have found anything wrong in my background check that, that four years later i could have been easily let go even though i've been there for four years that that is insane right because i was in shock when they said and they called me it was um uh, what was that the that they call the in, internal investigator or whatever it was they they review your profile and they review your whole background and they go through everything uh they mentioned that you know we you're cleared to work now. I'm like, I've been here for four years. What happened during that four years? Like, was I not cleared to work? Like, I just didn't make any sense. But anyway, um, great question right here. Oh, well, this is an awesome one too. Your channel is fire. I like that one. Awesome. Thank you. Jenny949 says, do you think it's worth it to join the military for cybersecurity? I have no experience and working on getting security plus getting security plus always an awesome awesome idea and that definitely helps with the foundation of it no experience we can work on that we can always work on that but joining the military wow i started looking it up this is the air force guys this is the air force and this was the cybersecurity, and you're enlisting i'm going to read this really briefly protecting our information uh, the continued advancement of computers and technologies has drastically expanded our capabilities. However, these, uh, however, these very same advancements have created vulnerabilities to our security as well. Responsible for preventing, detecting, and repelling cyber attacks, cybersecurity specialists ensure the security of computer network and online communication. For programming to hard, from programming to hardware, these experts keep our system and our information safe. And right here, look at this. Qualification, minimum education, high school, age 17 or older, high school diploma, GED, or 15 college semester hours. That's not a lot, actually. That's pretty little, which is good, right? Because it, it makes it easier to get accepted to any of this. High school students may start their application as early as the end of their junior year. Wow. My goodness. Qualifications, knowledge of information system. At least, I mean, they have some qualification. I mean, they need to have some idea of what computers are, right? Completion of a current single scope background investigation. That's your, you know, background check. Uh, completion of 7.5 week of basic military training. 
Okay, so obviously the 7.5 weeks of basic military training has nothing to do with cybersecurity. It's the basic of getting into the Air Force for in this example. Of course, there are other sectors that you can get into the military, which is like the Army and the Marines and uh, what else is there? This is the Air Force and probably there's a couple more that I'm not familiar with because I've never gone this route. I just started looking it up and because of that great question i was like i never even thought of it and, and because of that great question i decided to do a whole video on it and now we're looking at must be between must be between the ages of 17 and 39. Whew, wow that's a big range right so i actually want to mention one thing i i did look at when i was younger i wanted to join the fbi now it wasn't because i wanted to join the fbi because of cybersecurity. I think during that time, cybersecurity wasn't even a word yet, okay? It was more like, you know, just joining the FBI because it was more prestigious. Now, the reason why I didn't get into cybersecurity because I landed my first IT job and I was getting paid like 70 grand. And this was like many years ago. And I was like, wow, I'm making so much, uh, you know, so early in my life. I didn't even graduate college yet. But anyway, about the FBI thing, they required, in order to become an FBI agent, you had to have had a master's degree. You had to have graduated from a master's with a, like a degree. And I'm like, no way am I going back to school because I already owe them tons of money. And there's no way that I'm going to continue going back to school just so I could get into the FBI to make like, at that time, it was pretty low. Right. I, it was definitely not making 70K walking into the FBI, just like how back then walking into like, you know, the police department and, you know, wanting to become a police officer was making the lowest income ever in, in comparison to working out in the private sector, whether it was healthcare or, you know, in the financial area, whatever hedge funds, not even not even a, a decision that you would consider if unless you really had no choice and you couldn't find a job outside. Going back to the military thing, it's this is interesting. I, and I'm sure if you go this route, I believe you would get paid right for the work that you do, right? If you qualify, but you have to do all this training. So basic military training, 7.5 weeks, technical training, 50 days. Wow. So, you know, a little a month and a half of, of tra technical training. Now, when they say technical, I don't know if that's m meaning like technical as in computer technical or technical as in like combat technical training on top of the basic military training. Right. Uh, some some of you military guys may know all that. Uh, we could view more careers. Choose from over 200 careers. So let's look really quick. Let's just look for cyber cyber system operations, cyber transport system, cyber security, cyber intelligence. This is amazing, guys. I had no idea this even existed. So cyber transport system, I, I that sounds pretty interesting, actually. Cyber, wow. I mean, it's the picture alone is like intriguing me. Providing communication through connection. So like from site to site, right? As you know, especially in the battlefield. This is amazing. Look at this. So the technical training now it makes more sense right now. So 136 days, they're training you on learning this. So even then, even if you come back to just the Air Force alone, you're you're looking at things. Uh, they're breaking it down a little bit more. Right. So you have. Oh, did I lose? Why did I not have? Oh, cyber intelligence. So let me just go back for cyber, just cyber. So we have cybersecurity. I'm I'm interested to see. I'm gonna open up in a new tab. I want to keep that one. So this was the original one that okay, so this was the original one. I guess that's like the basis and the foundation of it. Cyber intelligence is probably sounds pretty prestigious, right? Let's see how many days of training. 110 days of training. And this one is intelligence is one of the best and most important weapons at our disposal. Responsible for acquiring and analyzing information, fusion analysts determine the value and implications of intelligence we receive from target network communications. It sounds so like, it's like, like I, I don't know, like, like uh, Halo or or like Call of Duty stuff, right? It's so like, ugh, so rough and tough. Uh, through research and assessment, these special gauges the impact of information. 
and distribute their findings to high-level decision makers so you can take timely action to ensure the safety of airmen and our country guys this is this is when when people say life or death like this is life or death right you got soldiers that you have to make sure that you're you're working in conjunction with it's similar to when i was working in the healthcare industry like our system was down we have patients we better find a way we better have our redundancy we better have our backups we better be operational 99.9 percent .9 of the time we can't afford to lose because human life is top priority amongst above everything else remember that guys human life is top priority above everything else so there you go that was just air force i don't know what other other uh you know army or sector that this individual is asking about the military they just said military in general but um cyber security i'm just typing right now so the army actually has their get trained become an expert i i believe the army also has a cyber command u.s cyber command i don't know if this is the same let's see right here cyber defense a partnership a must in snore shoring up cyber defense guys if you're looking into wow look at this zero trust fraudulent website so if you guys are looking into beyond city federal jobs and you want to start going into the government high, higher government like military level possibly that that is some dedication i don't i don't knock that that's definitely you you have to put your mind to it because now you're dedicating many years many we're not just talking about sitting studying for the cyber uh, security plus exam for like a month and then go take it and you got the certification this is a lifestyle change guys all right the military is huge and i mean it opens a lot of doors and i i think that it's definitely if you're willing to put in that time it's probably really worth it because that kind of infrastructure the size of it the, the amount of things that you would learn while you get you know earn like some income not a hell of a whole lot but just imagine what you would get what when you leave there right after you complete all of that and you come out and you're looking in the private sector or wherever it is wow it's just i i think that it's a huge opportunity over there so uh jenny 949 do you think it's worth it to join the military for cybersecurity? Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Yes. Because of everything I just said in this video. And, you know, there, there may be other things, other factors. Time away from family. Do you have kids? Maybe. Then, then that changes the dyna dynamics of it, right? But if you're single, ready to mingle, and you have freedom... You don't have any like baggages you don't have any like responsibilities then oh by all means if if i had that opportunity now right i would probably consider that as well if i'm really like i want to dive really deep into this whole cybersecurity, and i don't think anything outside of the military can even compare to what they can offer as far as intelligence cybersecurity intelligence this is insane guys that's that's like top level, top level stuff. All right. So there you go. That's my answer to your question. Do you think it's worth it to join the military for cybersecurity? Yes, I do. It, it looks amazing. Now, I can't speak for any other part of it, but if you guys have ever been in that or experienced it or completed it, comment below. Let everyone know how your experience, how your training was with the military. All right. Thank you guys again for being here and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.